Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Terry and you're watching another episode of The AXO. Razer reached out to us after we unboxed the Hammerhead TWS X and TWS Pro TWS earbuds and this time they sent us a headphone instead. Now this isn't just any regular headphones, this is the Razer Kraken X4 console. Judging from the colour of the box, you might think that this is made for the PS5 but no, actually the headphones work for any consoles, it's just that the, this version comes in the blue and white which is the colorway for the PS5. Now actually there is another color variant of the Razer Kraken X for console which is the signature Razer green and black that would fit better with the Xbox. So if you want to match your console with color of your headphones, pick and choose. Are you on team PS5 or Xbox? So this is what the box looks like. So the side, some specs on the back detailing like what which part is and let's unbox it as usual for gamers by gamers immediately you get unlock your headsets full potential now so the Razer Kraken X does support 7.1 surround sound this is just a card for you to redeem the Razer's 7.1 surround sound system there is the quick start guide along with the Razer green stickers not the hollow ones but it's just a sticker then we get the headphone itself. Pretty simple, there's nothing much in the box. Just open it up, open here. You get 3.5 splitter into a 3.5 audio and 3.5 uh, microphone input along with headphones itself. Take it out of the box. These are actually really lightweight now that I've actually held it in my hands. I like the build actually. I understand that this is made entirely out of plastic, but it feels really sturdy. It has a good amount of flex. So there is the microphone here, which isn't retractable and it's just permanently here. On the outside, you get the usual Razer Kraken X uh, decal. There's the blue Razer logo on top of the all white build, which goes really well with the PS5's blue. And on the inside, I would expect the left and right indicator to be in the ear cup itself, but it's just lined with blue fabric. Left and right indicator is actually on the headband itself, like here. So I, I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's the Razer logo that is uh, etched on here. And also the memory foam on the top part here, along same with the ear cups. So these are adjustable only on the ear cups level. Headband itself is adjustable in terms of length, but this doesn't have any swivel. So depending on different users, it might interfere with like hitting your chin or whatever, but I think it should be fine. And but the fact that the microphone is not retractable, so the only way you can get it out of your way is to just uh, push it upwards. On the left ear cup, you actually get the mute button which has a small red uh, lining on the bottom to let you know that it's uh, being turned on. And also there is the volume up and down scroll wheel. The scroll wheel isn't clickable, so there's no additional controls to that. The Razer Kraken X4 console is a wired headset, so this also isn't detachable, so the cable is permanently there. The cable isn't braided, but it actually feels very nice. I don't think it would tangle that easily. And of course, the jack here is coated in white as well with gold plating uh, connectors. So the cable is 1.3 meters and no, this is not supposed to be connected to the console itself. So how it's supposed to work is you're actually supposed to connect directly to the PS5 DualSense controller, which is on the bottom here. So it is angled so that the cable goes downward instead of towards you, which is great. And you're supposed to just connect it to the controller, put it on, my head is a bit big, so I might need to adjust it. Make sure you get a snug fit. This cardioid microphone is bendable. If you don't need to use it, you can just bend it up. And when you need to, you can just bring it down. There's no light indicator to let you know that if it's muted or not, but the mute is just here which is easily reachable. And the volume scroll wheel is here as well. So yeah, this is how it's supposed to look. PS5 DualSense directly to the Razer Kraken X for console. 
In terms of aesthetics, I think the Razer Kraken X for console goes really well with the overall PS5's colorway. Now the blue-white combo matches well with the white variant of the headphones and the black and green actually looks really well and it goes with the Xbox. So the headphones, I think they look pretty good. It's not too thick, like there are headphones that like just really bulging but this one's fine so the memory foam ear cup is actually really comfortable on both the ear cups and the top part here i don't feel much discomfort at all actually now that i've adjusted it properly i don't really feel it on my head so the ear cup is lined with leatherette and not the usual fabric so it might not be as breathable as the fabric material but we'll definitely look into that in the in-depth review shoulder test or uh, neck test yeah see that, that's what i meant so i think i mean even though this is not retractable it does get in the way but you can just bend it to the back like that so this is what the headphone looks like when you're resting it on your neck or, or your, on your shoulder i think it's all right it's not too big that like it discomforts my neck it's okay but i would have preferred it if it could have swiveled so that there's more space between the headphones and your chin. Now overall, my first impressions of the Razer Kraken X for console, long name, but okay. The headphones are lightweight, they're comfortable, definitely, with the memory foam ear cups. Um, I like the colorway. Haven't tested the sound yet because I'm leaving that for the review itself. So be sure to stay tuned to the AXO.com for that. So the Razer Kraken X for console weighs about 250 grams. It comes in Xbox green and PlayStation white color variants. For the drivers, it has custom tuned 40 millimeter drivers, which are fairly standard in you know, the industry. As mentioned before, it uses uh, memory foam cushions, has a soft uh, headband padding. On the ear cup, there's the soft padding on the top as well. And it has a pretty firm grip when you're resting it on your uh, neck. So obviously this isn't just made for the PS5. This does work um, with pretty much any console. You can use this with the Xbox as well, the Nintendo Switch, PS4, the Xbox One. You can also reuse it with the PC. Basically anything that has a 3.5 millimeter jack. So yeah, that's basically our short introduction to the Razer Kraken X for console. It is, First impressions are really good. I actually really like it. Can't wait to dive in deeper for the review, definitely. Uh, be sure to stay tuned to the in-depth review on theaxo.com. Thank you for staying to the end of the video. We hope you enjoyed this video as much as we did making it. Do give us a like if you like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. My name is Terry and I'll catch you all next time.